what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A biracial boy was noosed from a tree branch by a group of white teens in Claremont, New Hampshire. The teenagers tied the noose around the boy's neck and pushed him off of a picnic table, effectively lynching him, according to family members. The boy was later flown to a medical center where he received treatment for cuts and burns on his neck. The boy's mother shared the incident on Facebook with a caption that read, So my son is being flown to Dartmouth after a 14-year-old kid decided to hang him from a tree. I don't care if this was a so-called accident or not. My son almost died because of some little shit teenage kids. She right on the money. These little motherfuckers deserve to be put on trial for attempted murder. They're not some little innocent kids. These motherfuckers are future murderers. And they ass need to be slowed down right now. The victim's grandmother said that there was no doubt the incident was racially motivated and intentional. She further added that her grandson was playing in the yard when the kids started teasing him and throwing rocks and sticks at his legs. The teenager said, look at this, supposedly putting a rope around their necks. One boy said to her grandson, let's do this and then pushed him off the picnic table and hung him, she said. She said that her grandson swung back and forth three times before he finally freed himself. And the boys, according to her grandson, stood there and watched. Now, this incident took place on August 28th, However, the police has not released much information and the Claremont police uh, chief said this. Y'all, make sure y'all write down this sucker's name, Mark Chase. This fool said that they are investigating the incident. Y'all keep this, in, they're, they're investigating the incident and information can't be released because the perpetrators are juveniles. How many times have they released information on juveniles who were uh, being investigated for a crime that were black. And they do it from time to time with white kids too and other kids, but let's get it straight. Let's get something straight out the gate. This police officer, his ass is part of the problem. Let me tell you what he said. Let me just say that he, he seems to be very concerned, but not for the victim, for the perpetrators. This is what he said. These people need to be protected. Mistakes they make as a young child should not have to follow them for the rest of their life. Let me tell you something, you ignorant, Low down, backwoods, stank ass fucker. Hanging a small child from a tree branch and watching him sway back and forth in the breeze. It's not a mistake, it's attempted murder. Your funky ass need to be replaced immediately. The KKK police chief also refused to comment on the fact that the incident was racially motivated. I'm trying to sweep it under the rug. You can see these type coming from a mile away. Uh, we've investigated and we find no signs of racism. This is not a hate crime. It's, this ain't a hate crime. I don't know what it is. You're taunting a kid with racial epithets. And you got a rope around your neck and you saying, 
look at this. And then you take him and put a rope around his neck and you push him off of a table and hang him and you watch him struggle for his life. And you're laughing, you're enjoying it. It's a rush to you. And by the grace of God, he's able to free himself and save his own life. That's not a hate crime. It damn sure is not an accident. Federal authorities, I would say need to come in, but federal star authorities are headed by Jeff Sessions. Man, let me tell you something. You're on your own. You're on your own out there. It ain't, ain't no hope. You got a president who is a white supremacist. You got a attorney general who's a white supremacist. And they've laid down the law to law enforcement all over the country that it's cool to brutalize the citizens. And it's cool to, to gun down black people. We got you, baby. Take care of your business. Uh, and at the same time, if you do something to a cop, we got to come down on you because police is special. They're special citizens. Ain't that some shit? How in the hell is the police special? I don't get it. I see people get very, very emotional when something happened to cops, like a police get, officer get killed or something like that. People get real, real emotional. I don't, I don't feel nothing. I'm just like they do, because you know, just like they kill so many of us and they don't feel anything, I don't feel nothing, nothing. I feel nothing. When they go down, their numbers are so few and far between and they lose their mind when one of them dies. Oh man, it's got to be 50 cops show up on the scene. They, people all on TV crying and all this shit. This is what they do. But when a citizen is murdered by the police, it's no crime from the police. It's no sympathy. They just pay vacation. They're going about their business. A guy who killed an officer in Houston, I think it, it, this the murder, I think, happened a year or two ago, something like that. This guy got a life sentence. And people were pissed off because he didn't get the death penalty. They already got him on a life sentence. He ain't never going to see the day, light of day. That wasn't enough for him. They wanted his life. Why we can't want the police life when they take life? Why is it that it's something wrong with you? Why you got to be an outcast? Why you got to be the enemy if you want a dirty cop dead? Why you got to be the enemy? The cop committed a crime. He should be treated even worse than a common citizen because he took an oath to protect and serve. If you think I'm crazy, insane, out of my mind, rid of me this. A little boy was hung from a tree in America, the place that considers itself to be the standard for democracy around the world. The place that considers itself to be the world police. This is the place that everybody look at and say, I want to go there because they're fair and impartial. Wink, wink. The only way he survived was that he freed himself while his assailants looked on and laughed. Why hasn't anyone went to jail? The police have yet to say if anyone would be arrested or even charged with a crime. This act begs the question, what kind of home environment were those boys raised in? I bet you a dollar to a donut 
the mama and their daddy some racist bastards. I bet you they raised them to be that way. Guaranteed. America has always been a country of contradictions, biases, and lies. Always has. And that's never going to change. As long as wicked people are at the top. And wicked people will remain at the top because the so-called decent people, the so-called good people, are cowards. They are afraid to stand up for justice. They know what's right. They see wrong and will not say anything about it. So you get what you get. When the backlash comes, when the karma comes, and that shit drop on you, you get what you get. The deliberate nature of them attacking that boy, lynching him, the racial taunts, it is the very definition of a hate crime. America is like just sleep at the wheel when it comes to social justice. It's just it's sleep at the wheel when it comes to racial harmony. It's just sleep, just dead sleep. But this incident speaks on the current state of affairs in America. Anytime you have uh, a president that pushes an agenda of division, hate, separatism, you're going to have, and white supremacy, you're going to have those uh, white supremacists of all ages thinking that they can commit hate crimes and get away with it. And that's exactly what happened. They got that script straight out of a reenactment of history. They're looking at their history books. They're watching all of this stuff that's going on in the media with all these hate crimes on social media. And they're seeing what's happening. And they're seeing people get away. And they're going like, oh, man, this shit is funny. It's cool. It's cool. So they think they can get away with the shit. I'm just waiting on people to stop being scared of these motherfuckers because I ain't scared of their asses. You know, that's how you stop that shit, though. When, you start, when they start seeing consequences for their actions, when the motherfuckers start bleeding back and hanging back, that's when that shit going to stop. It ain't going to stop a second soon. Bullies don't voluntarily stop bullying. They don't stop. They don't volunteer to stop bullying. They don't voluntarily stop bullying. They have to be forced. They have to be bullied back. You got to give them a taste of their own medicine. If I can take your lunch money every day and all I get from you is complaints and crying and you trying to talk to me, talk me out of taking your lunch money. You trying to reason with me. I am going to laugh in your face. I'm going to take your lunch money until you hit me across my fucking head and bust it to the white meat. That's when I'm going to stop taking your fucking lunch money. Until then, rabbit pockets, baby. Empty it. Let me get it. Let me have that. This wasn't a simple, oh shit, little kids are playing and the big kid hurt the little kid because the big kid was too strong. This was calculated, malicious intent to take a life. This was attempted murder. America better get it right real soon because people have already started to take the law into their own hands. And those numbers are going to grow. And it's going to get to a point to where the police are not going to have any control. No control. I know y'all don't think that could happen because it hasn't happened. Because America's stupid like that. America's slow in the head like that. We got to see shit. We don't think shit stink. 
We got to go to the toilet and smell the shit. Oh, it do stink. We just, we hard-headed like that. But I'm telling you, shit is out of control. And it's going to get worse. And if America stands any chance for people to get back to respecting her laws, just the citizens in America to respect the laws and have respect for authority, she better start cleaning this shit up real fast. Because it's, it's getting told, it's out of hand. It's out of control. The police are out of control. The citizens are out of control. You better fix it real fast. Because we are right there on the cusp of being at the point of no return. No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Yeah. Order,